Et avant l'assaut, que vous seuls recevriez les flashs et les pierres lancées par les machines et les canons. Je leur ai dit qu'il n'y a pas de doute qu'il y avait le siège. C'est en posant les chaînes ah, premières qu'il n'y a pas de doute. Hello in just a second. Let's do this first real quick. Les sœurs Catherine et Marguerite ont-elles parlé avec vous sous l'arbre du arbre des dames ou arbre des fées dont il a déjà été mentionné? Testing one two three. Okay. One's just made a video um, about the uh, 1599 Geneva Bible in reference to Michael. And uh, he's absolutely correct. This is a facsimile of the 15... Here, let me open it up for you. I'm a little out of breath. I've just been uh, stacking a bunch of stuff, so I'll need a second to get my breath. But outside stacking things... Yeah, this is a facsimile. Okay, this is actually a facsimile from 1560. So, I don't know how good that shows up, but, you know, whatever. And uh, he's referring to Daniel chapter 10. And, let's see, Daniel chapter... Oh, the, these these two things here, these are uh, King James Bibles, they're old, they're ancient, they're original, original King James authorized Bibles, and uh, the, none of them, can, neither one of these contains 66 books, by the way, uh, this has 81 books, and this has 81 books, oh, and this, this has 81 books. So where people get this 66 book thing with the King James Bible, uh, th those are later printings printed during the Laodicean age that we are all living in. So anyway, I'm going to shift from this over to my uh, Bible program so you can see it more clearly. Okay, and here we are in... Um, my Sword Searcher program, which is really a good Bible program. Yeah, it's got King James Bible, um, and it's got the translation into the Greek and Hebrew from the Strong's. Really good. I recommend it. But this does have the Geneva Bible notes. So here's Daniel 10.13, talking about the prince, Michael. And I want to show you what one of the ones said is completely true. I, I like to be honest in everything I'm doing. So look at this. All right. I just clicked on Geneva. If I move that over, you can see that. That is, uh, I still doesn't want to do it. No, it's the Geneva Bible footnote from 1599, even though mine is the older one. And in their footnote, they're talking about Michael, chief prince. And here's what they say. Even Michael, that is, Jesus Christ, the head of angels. So, in all fairness, I just want to point that out, that that is exactly correct. One of the ones did not lie. He showed you the truth there. But does that mean that it's true that that's the case? That just because the Geneva Bible says this, and in their footnotes, it doesn't mean that they were right now, does it? I grew up in a Reformed Baptist, uh, Reformed Puritan Baptist church. Got a lot of good teaching from them and preaching. I liked it overall. And they taught this. They taught that Michael was Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ was Michael. Uh, 
I never believed them, even then. I, I, I didn't believe them. I, uh, and I don't to this day. It didn't make me go against them. It was just they were taught this because they were hardcore Calvinists, and that's, this is a Calvinistic covenant theological position. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to continue this in another tape because I, I have to go back outside, but uh, this is number one. I'm going to continue on, but for now, bye. <clears throat>